So as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, legacy calculators here. Uh, all of them are pretty much legacy, except for this uh, TI Inspire cast. This is the first Inspire uh, to have a color screen. And uh, what I mean by legacy, uh, by legacy, I mean uh, any calculators that were uh, announced early to uh, mid-2000s. To, mid so all those calculators, I call them legacy calculators. And this one is uh, the oldest one, uh, the 49G, was introduced in uh, 1999. And uh, this was in 2003, 2004, 2007, I want to say, or 2010. I'm not too sure. This is 2011, I believe. The Inspire cast, hmm. Because the first cast of the first Inspire ever was announced in 2006. That was the first gen Inspire. And it was called uh, the ClickPad. And after the ClickPad, they had, they had this one. This is the second gen, the touchpad. Okay, huh? I want to say 2007, but I could be wrong. I think it was 2010. Yeah, I believe this was 2010. And then uh, the CX, the Inspire CX, was announced in 2011. All right, I could be wrong. All right. Anyway, so we are about to do some speed tests. Uh, so we have some summations here. I already went ahead and put uh, the expressions, uh, the expression on the calculator, so the video is not too long. Okay, so as you can see, x squared minus 1, x equal 1, 1,000. So I'm going to start with uh, the two TIs, um, the, two, the two inspires for now, because it's going to be impossible for me to hit uh, the enter button at the same time here. Okay, so here we go. 1, 2, 3. As you can see, that's to be expected. These two inspires are super fast. Okay, they are really fast. And they both got the answer almost immediately. Okay. So next, the uh, 89 and uh, the two HPs, okay? So one thing to keep in mind is that this one is going to be the slowest amongst all of them, okay? It's, cool. it's, it's got, I mean, it's got the slowest processor amongst all of them, uh, or the, the lowest frequency, I should say. The processor on this one is clocked is clock at only uh, four megahertz. The, uh, the 89 titanium is clocked at uh, 16 megahertz, and this one is at 75. So in theory, this one should be the fastest among these three, okay? And I can't remember uh, the frequency, the clock speed of these two, but they are well above 100, okay? Okay, so on the two HPs, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna need to do eval. The two HPs, so it's gonna evaluate the answer for me. And on the uh, T, I'm just gonna need to press enter. Okay, so eval here is this key, and for the 49, I have to press uh, the right shift, and then this key right here. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to do that at the same time. One, two, three. There we go. So is it busy? Okay, so surprisingly, uh, the HP 49G got it first, and then these two got it almost at the same time. All right, but anyways... The HP 49G has it first, so the slowest amongst these three got it first. But for this one, I'm not too sure, so I'm gonna go back, undo. Another great feature that I wish the uh, uh, TI had is the undo button, but it unfortunately doesn't have that. So okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do these at the same time. One, two, three. Okay, so the HP got it, right? I don't even know which one got it first, this this or this one. Let me see. One, two, oh. Okay, I cannot do undo it again, so I'm gonna have to paste it. Undo here. Was I tripping? Huh. I guess I was tripping, so I, I kind of did lie. I don't know why. But I can't, I don't know. I feel like this one had it first. Oh, this is really interesting. But anyways, uh, let me just go ahead and show you uh, the mods really quick just to make sure uh, that is uh, nothing uh, different about the two. So if we go to uh, the mod, the normal format, my normal former format is standard on both of these, on all of them actually, on all of them. Let's see, mod here, I make sure if you go to, we go to cast and uh, approximate is off on both complex zone. So as you can see, all the two HPs have the same configuration. And even here, if I go here in mod, 
and uh, my uh, the exponent format is uh, normal, which is the same as here. Uh, normal is just standard instead of engineering or scientific. And here as well, well, they don't really need uh, anything checked, but uh, yeah. So now let's do uh, something much bigger, at least for these two. Okay, so let's go back to the equation writer. And uh, I'm gonna paste this. We just gonna we are going to replace the 1,000 to 30,000. And here I'm going to do the same as well. Uh, let's see. Equation writer, paste it, and uh, edit it. 30 thousands. Okay, here 30 thousand. So all these, uh, the 49 G plus and the 89 titanium came out around the same time, but the titanium is, uh, I mean, the, 80, the 49 G plus is a lot, much, much faster when it comes to a lot of stuff. Even the, uh, uh, the interaction with the UI, the HP 49 is just unbelievably zippy, snappy. Okay. So here I'm going to do the same, put this on the stack, I'll change this to 30,000. Every time I say that uh, I'm not going to make a video long, I end up with a 20 minute video of 40. But hopefully this one, we're gonna keep it short, okay? So 30,000 as usual, I'm gonna start with the two inspired first. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three. So did you see what, what just happened there? So the non-color inspired, the second gen inspired got it first. And even though this one it has a higher uh, uh, clock speed, not only that, uh, they also have essentially the same software, pretty much the same software. TI, Texas Instrument really didn't, uh, they really didn't do uh, much improvement over there. When it comes to the software they have, they can do pretty much the same exact things. But the reason why this one has uh, a faster, uh, ha had a faster, <laughs> how, how can I say that? The reason why this one got an answer first, the fastest, has probably something to do with uh, the fact it is non-color. So that way the processor don't have to push as much pixel, you know, to display the answers or whatever, the calculations. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure 100% that has something to do with it. That pretty much has everything to do with it. The fact that this is non-color and this is color, all right? Okay, so we got Inspire. The two Inspire got in by three seconds. And now let's see which one of these is going to get it first. So first you need to select the whole thing here. And this thing is on my stack already. So if I... One... Two, three, here we go. Okay, say so busy. Oh, oh, this one got it pretty much instant, instantly. Okay, this one followed by that. Now the 89 is still thinking about it. So this, 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 this says a lot. So it's not only about uh, the, 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 the processor speed. It's not only about the, uh, the clock speed, the frequency or whatever you want to call it, but it's also about uh, the software, you know, how the, the program was coded. So even though this one has a, a much lower cl uh, clock speed, it managed to do this uh, summation pretty fast. And the TI-89 Titanium is still thinking about it. The processor in this one is called Saturn, Saturn, I think. And this one is a Samsung, has a Samsung processor, the TI, as a Motorola 6800 68, 68, or 68000, I'm not too sure. Okay, so after this, I am also going to do a, a 3D graph on all three. I don't even know if this thing can do 3D graphing, hmm. I never check. Okay, while the TI is still busy, I'm just gonna try and figure this out. Let's see. Okay, I was doing some basic graphing here, I was just testing this. Uh, let's see how can I do 3d graphing here let's see graph so the TI is still the 89 is still uh, busy looking for the answer that's interesting 
So I don't think this one has 3D graphing. If it did, it would probably be here. Uh, let me make sure. I'm, I know for a fact that this one does. So if you go to, uh, let's go to home. Okay, graph. Press menu, graph entry. Oh, so this one has eight options. Okay, the TI eighty nine finally got it. Okay, there you go. So three D graphing is going to be on the view. Hopefully, this one has it. There you go. So they both got it. Three D graphing here as well. Okay, so now this is pretty easy to do. So I'm just gonna do uh, for the purpose of this video. It's gonna be something really simple, just x square. Okay. So if I hit enter at the same time on both, let's see who's gonna get it first. It was pretty much instant on both. If uh, I think I wanna say that this one got it first once again, but I could be wrong. So okay, let's go ahead and uh, uncheck this one. Oh, just we're just gonna modify it. Let's do a, a X cube. That's gonna that's gonna be a weird looking graph. One, two, three. So they, you know, it's it's pretty much a, it's pretty much it's pretty much identical, you know. And one thing I love the reason why this is my favorite Inspire is because of the display size. This is the only calculator. Uh, in the TI generation, in the TI uh, family, uh, that has a, a a big display, and uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking into account the Voyage and the 92 Plus because those were really, uh, I think those were more like a proof of a concept rather than like actual actual practical calculators. Because I'm pretty sure they would, they, they probably were not allowed in any classroom. Okay, okay, so now let's do three graphing on these two. So it's just gonna be x square here, and here you have to hold this, go to 3D, okay, exit this first, hold it, 3D, and here the same thing, hold it, go to 3D. Okay, I already had some complicated equation here, so I'm gonna er er erase this one, edit, erase the whole thing. Okay, let's see, blue, clear, x square, and, uh, enter here I'm gonna do the same edit uh, x square and enter okay so it's gonna be kind of tricky okay so now nah, it's not gonna be tricky at all so f6 on the on the two hps and uh f3 on this one diamond key f3 on this one one two three here we go Okay. Uh oh. So I did something wrong. So I gotta do it again. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I was supposed to change this one from function to, to graph, so I did not do that. Okay, I'm gonna uncheck this one, make sure there's not nothing on the graph. Okay, I need to change both these to to three D. Three D here, back to the uh, graph. And here, I'm gonna cancel this one, and I'm gonna change the uh, graphing type to 3D. So on the HP, it says fast 3D. That's just marketing name. That's just a marketing name. Just marketing. It's nothing. It's not that serious. Okay. So you already did the graph here. So in our in order for you to exit, you have to press exit and then cancel. And it's gonna take a minute to exit out of it. And I'm gonna erase. I'm gonna erase everything and I'll do this again. So it's gonna be F6 on both HPs, diamond key F3, one, two, three. Here we go. So naturally, this one got it first. What just happened? Boy, I'm so sick of this. I don't know what happened there. So I'm gonna exit, cancel, exit, then cancel. 
So as you can see, the uh, HP is much, much faster. I mean, the 49G Plus is much, much faster. Okay. So F3. Okay. To graph it. One. Okay, let me erase everything first. Erase. One, two, three. There we go. So obviously, this one got it first. Then the two HPs got it first. So again, it's not only about the processor. It's also uh, how the app. Uh, I mean, how the uh, how the uh, the software is uh, optimized. Okay, so now we got our three D graph of uh, a second degree polynomial. So now let's see how quickly they interact with the graph. This is this is too smooth. This is really really good. This is as good as you can get. <laughs> This is so smooth. This is what, what a 3D looks like, like parabola. Parabola, as you can see. So here with the second 49 is not as smooth, but it is really, really smooth. Remember, this thing is from 1999, more than 20 years. Okay, and this one is less than 20 years. Let's see how he does it. As you can see, much, much slow, you know? I, when you long press it, it takes a while to register. I mean, see, and if you hold it, you just gonna spin it. As you can see, you're just gonna spin around. I mean, they are all usable, but the two HPs are by far much, much better than the TI 89 titanium. Okay, let me see. So, here, as you can see, this is, this is really good too. Obviously, these these things these two are super fast. Okay, so anyways, I guess we can just uh, wrap it up for this video. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section, and I will do my best to get to them. I mean, I can I can talk about calculators all day long, hours and hours. You know, I've just got this 49G, and I haven't even done testing it yet. Let me exit out of here because before we let's see. Let me just go home. This is what I love about it. Yeah, whatever you add, you can just press home and it will take you to the home screen. But here, you can't just do that. Or can you? Can you? I guess you can. Hmm. Well, not really. Hmm. Interesting. So, I've noticed some uh, differences between these two. Uh, when it comes to the software, they essentially have the same software, but this one is all is, is going to be faster in pretty much each every department. You know, even pulling up the catalog here is almost instant. You know, maybe less than a second delay, but here it's going to take about three seconds. Then after that, it's going to be fast. You know, so this they can one, two, three about three seconds. But after that, it's called, everything is going to be super fast. And when you are again ready to pull, pull it up again, it's going to be almost instant, you know. And uh, yeah, so that is that. If you have any questions, again, just make sure you put in the comment section. All right, with that being said, I'm out.